you i found figured out is like uh, we are trying to access bedrock at a root user level so we need to set an access uh, key for the root user level for that what you have to go you have to go to aws and you can see security credentials here so when you go down and then you can see something like this access key create access so the same similar for procedure what we followed once uh, you have created the access key id and the access key then you can download that and then uh, you can uh, simply use aws um, configure so, so that it will ask for the uh, access key id and access and then the region where the bedrock is created so that you can access that so so we already said that uh, permission now i am just simply running this app it is giving me the output you can see see what i have asked the prompt describe the purpose of hello world program in one line so i it is just telling simple program just basic understanding of the programming language typically printing the text to the screen demonstrating the language syntax and function so anyway so that's it about the we are now able to invoke the bedrocks uh, runtime and whatever the foundation models available in the bedrock we are able to use that so currently we are using meta 3 uh, uh, this one this one if you want to work with llama 2 just we will all we need to go to amazon bedrock and then uh, go to get started and then if you can go to model access and then if you can see the llama to here access granted so if when you click on i think uh, maybe we need the uh, base models okay base models and then search for project Okay, I think uh, examples we can go and search for now and just for an background. It is all the matrix actually. These are uh, how to run in okay view API request. Yeah, this one. So yeah. So now you can go to the base models. Uh, what I have given is examples. that you can just search meta then uh, llama 2 so then you can just open open in a playground so where you can see a three dot menu there here you can click on this uh, api request so that you can see the model id here so this you can copy and then paste it here and then save it and then the and then the message format should be inst like this so in you have to give like this otherwise it will not work i think so you have to give some so this is the prompt for uh, uh, llama 3 and uh, if you want to work with llama 2 that is a different prompt format for llama 2 so for that what we have to do inst inst you have to give here so uh, inst inst and then what else is there? and uh, at last you have to give classes so this is the this is the thing you have to give now let's try the same running like running the app so okay what it is telling uh uh could not reveal the phone for the model identifier maybe we are not passing the correct format now just to try this uh, correct format we are not sending let's uh, see this uh, okay Okay, I think this is the Python code. Think 
prompt format will be is i think let's try but uh, this is for second Comma two will be there definitely. I think I have somewhere that open from. I will show you that. Yeah. A three. Okay, you can search for the meta. Uh, to format like this okay. come see it was response payload okay this is what i want uh, see here i think this is what the format you have to do now it will let's see uh, yeah okay again it is giving me the Error and error occurred in nothing. Meta Lama 2 13 we chat we correct on right model ID and then region is the same we have given then prompt prompt we will make it prompt and then uh, we want then what else here okay I think something we have to hmm so this is what something the response text response stream is this one so response text so maybe online id so i think uh, we can't uh, extract like that i think we have to do this way so uh, this is maybe this is for llama 3 what we will do we will just put a response model once let's see now what happens still something it is telling client identifier uh, i'll show you in the next video what is the issue watch my